The discovery, when it finally happened, wasn't a single eureka moment. It was a slow, grueling buildup of evidence. In October 1992, the first real clue appeared. A single event that looked tantalizingly like it could be a top quark. But one event isn't a discovery. It could just be a fluke, a random background event that happened to look like the real thing. For years, the teams refined their analyses. They got better at identifying the jets of particles spraying from a bottom quark, a key piece of the signature. Slowly, event by event, the evidence mounted. By 1994, the CDF team had collected enough data to submit a paper claiming the first evidence for the top quark, estimating its mass at around 175 gigaelectron volts, as heavy as a gold nucleus. But the standard for a discovery in particle physics is insanely high. You have to prove, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that your signal isn't a statistical ghost. So both teams raced to gather more data, cross-check their results, and convince themselves, and each other, that what they were seeing was real. It was a time of intense competition, but also collaboration, as the two experiments pushed each other toward the finish line.